to shape the cell as well as they are important in the chromosome separation we have talked about it so let's begin with uh, the structure of microtubules that is the uh, microtubule building blocks and the assembly now we know the microtubules are generally produced in eukaryotic cell it is produced by uh, the tubulin protein molecule and there are two types of tubulin usually alpha tubulin and beta tubulin that is present there is another type of tubulin which is called gamma tubulin we'll be talking about it later but these are the two types majorly to construct the microtubule now you can see that beta tubulin and alpha tubulin both are having a site for binding with gtp and gdp now usually alpha tubulin is the tubulin who used to bind with gtp beta tubulin is one who bind with gdp right and you can see another site to bind taxol in the beta tubulin what is taxol we'll be learning it later it's a it's a drug it's a molecule which can uh, block the attachment and construction of microtubules we'll be learning that later but this is the general construction of microtubules inside the cell now how tubulins actually assemble now the assembly of tubulin molecules is obviously concentration gradient dependent if you look at here that they first produce what is called a protofilament which is a very thin filament uh, constructed by serial addition of tubulin molecules with one another as you can see here here the red one is suggesting us alpha tubulin and the blue one is suggesting us the beta tubulin now the blue part is attached with gdp red part is attached with gtp and if you look at here this, this this construction always begins with a GTP at the end because the alpha tubulin and a GDP at other end which is the beta tubulin right so this is a way alpha beta alpha beta that's the way it is constructed into the protofilament once those protofilaments are made so many protofilaments will bring together to tie them together to make a kind of cylinder like shape right to sheet like assembly once the sheet is assembled it will look something like that then after that once the construction is kind of completed it's kind of at its end there is called some gtp cap molecules need to be added right in those cases what we see in those cases normally what we know in all these constructions alpha is attached to gtp beta is attached to gdp but in this end when they need to add the gtp cap in that cases when they're producing the cap both alpha and beta tubulins are bound with gtp instead of gtp and gdp so they will bind here to produce a gtp cap and it usually present in the positive end of this tubulin now actually overall they are having two different end one is a negative end or minus end another one is a plus end or positive end whatever so negative positive is not that sense but minus end means from where destruction occurs more rapidly than construction and plus end means construction occurs more rapidly than destruction that's why that uh, it's giving minus and plus now if we look at here the plus end they are having the cap right the gtp cap because in plus end at the end of the construction of the sheet or the hollow cylinder like structure they add a lot of uh, alpha and beta tubulin together all of them are bound with gtp right it is called a gtp cap right now in this case uh, microtubule elongation is complete and then we can get it now normally 13 such protofilaments are actually assembled together to make this kind of cylinder remind you this is a cylinder like structure this is a tube like structure right so 13 protofilament give rise to one microtubule in that sense 